Hi, this is about coding the battery for Bima code. Right, so I have the OBD2 adapter plugged inside there, and then I have the Bima code app open and updated, and it's connecting to the OBD2 adapter. Right, and then I have Mini here. I connect this one. Okay, so it now has to read all the way up to the hundred percent, and then once I once it does that, I have to go into the BDC, which is the body domain controller, and then it again has to read it until the hundred percent, and then there is an option inside it where I could change and register the new battery. Okay, it's a little wait there. So when you are doing this process, it's advised that uh, you do not interrupt the process of the coding at any point of time, right? So that is all that is there. So there is all these modules that you could adapt. I can't do any changes on the head unit because my head unit is a retrofit and uh, it's delicate. So I can't make any, if I would go ahead and press this head unit, it would say the system is not ready. Everything else I, could, I can change here. So what I do is I go body domain controller and it loads up. Yeah, it's a little wait. So what I had done with my head unit is I have upgraded from the basic uh, basic head unit to a retrofit NBT EO ID6 head unit and it was coded remotely um, using ESIS um, and team UR and all that and what has happened is that um, the, the, the ECU of the Mini Cooper registered remembers this particular head unit as an f56 instead of an f60 so it's kind of delicate so i'm not not it's not advisable for me to flash or make any changes on this particular head unit but i am very happy because i i i now have navigation apple carplay android screen mirroring and the new interface and all that yeah so that's how it looks yeah the new interface of the so Along with the NBT EVO head unit, I also upgraded the, the iDrive controller, right? And I also retrofit the parking sensor thing, but I don't yet have the front parking sensor. So in the future, when I know more about it and I have the harness and all of that, I hopefully will install or retrofit the front parking sensors and the parking menu controller. And so meanwhile, this thing is still reading through the, through the, through the body domain controller right? and again this this particular speedometer is the 6wb digital speedometer which is also an upgrade here so what i had done is my uh, my old battery which came from the factory died down after three years of use because the uh, my car has a lot of gadgets in it and all of them all of them have been drawing a lot of power so i think the because of the navigation head unit and then i also have a retrofit of amplifier in the rear and then the speaker upgrade and all of that and because of all of that my my factory uh, battery quickly died out after three years uh, i think it probably ran its lifetime for three years and then I now upgraded to a, a, a Korean uh, brand battery uh, that has the same size and specs and all of that. Uh, but this one is uh, 80 amp amps instead of 70 amp uh, amps that I had previously, and this also has a higher cranking power. Uh, so uh, hopefully it will it will be able to take the load of all the electronics. So we are now inside here, right? 
so let's see uh, we have a battery here and this is the factory battery that is registered uh, my um, the car is here remembers the factory battery to be 70 amps so what i have to do is i have to press this one and say oh i have a 70 amps agm battery yeah and then yeah, so you see you have all that options oh you have you can go all the way up to 105 ampere so so the new battery the korean battery brand that i have is a 80 amp amperes agm battery start stop battery yeah and i say save i say save okay and i say code and I say start coding so once I say this I'm not supposed to do anything anything on the car so what it does is this one communicates to the Bluetooth port there and then it codes and it says and once it codes the head unit the display flashes and the car and the ECU restarts you see it's gone down and it has come back again yeah so you see a little bit of errors and all of that and hopefully all of this will will clear up all these errors.